Tonight we are on Mixie for our riding GoPro video. She's gonna help us go over the different types of reins. So we're just gonna be walking tonight, which will hopefully make this a little bit easier of an evening. What we are gonna be looking for is an indirect, a direct, and an open rein. Now, what I demonstrated in the warm-up video when I was just using my ring fingers and such to communicate with Gail on our fake black and white reins was a direct rein. So that's what we teach to be the most efficient type of rein. We teach this as, I'll say, a level two rein. If we had to level them from easiest to hardest in communicating with our horses, we teach the direct rein as the level two. So that's the one where we keep our hands on either side of the horse's mane, as you can see below. We make sure that there's a straight line from our horse's head to our elbow. And this is the most efficient way to either halt or to half halt, which slows our horse down. We can also use this to do subtle turns though, however, as well. So I'm figurating Mixie and I'm not really shifting my hands more than an inch to the right or the left. So an open rein is when our rein comes away from our horse's head, which I'll do in a minute when we're not near poles. So we open up our hand to the outside towards the, ooh, Mixie, <laughs> towards the outer part of our horse's shoulder. And this is the easiest way to turn our horse. You can see her head turns to the side a lot more. She's following through the pool of the bit to come to the outside of that rein. So we can do the same thing in the opposite direction. I'll return to a direct rein to ride straight. And then I'm gonna open my rein. And you can see she's bending to the right, which is one of the key parts of an open rein is that your horse bends the neck a little bit. Now, an indirect rein is when your hand comes towards the midline. Now we do not cross the midline, so the midline's the main. We're not doing this, but all we do is we bring our hand towards that center line and it asks our horse to cock their head out. So you can see the difference between this, where she's bending the neck, as opposed to, we'll get her straight again, this, where her head's just coming to the side, yet we're still going to the right. So same thing to the left, I can ask her to open rein and turn all the way. Her head is totally to the side here. Or I can straighten her out, let's get her straight again, head right in front of her shoulders and I can indirect rein, and you can see now her head's cocked, but her neck's not super bent, okay? So distinct differences here when we're steering our horse around. We wanna use these reins for different reasons though. So a direct rein, like I said, is the most efficient for a halt or a half halt. An open rein is the most efficient when you're learning how to steer. An indirect rein is very efficient when we're learning leg yields. So that's a little more advanced and we will get to that at some week. It'll just be a one and done kind of lesson because it's hard to do it when you don't actually have a horse. However, when we're doing our different types of reins, we're asking the horse to move differently with their whole body. So we're gonna practice weaving through the three cones that I have behind us using the different reins. So first we're gonna use an open rein as we weave through these cones. So we're gonna aim towards the three cones up ahead. We're gonna start with an open rein. So I'm gonna open my hand and ask her to bend to one side of the cones. Then we're gonna go straight and we're gonna bend to the other side of the cones. And we're gonna open up to U-turn all the way back down. So I'm keeping my elbow in and I'm keeping my hand low. That should all stay the same in the different types of reins. We're gonna do a direct rein on the way back. So now, once I get her to unbend, the goal is to keep my hands pretty quiet and to just use my fingers to squeeze to the right. Her neck should stay pretty straight. We're gonna squeeze to the left to U-turn.
takes a little bit longer to do a turn with a direct drain. It'll take even longer with an indirect drain. <laughs> All right. So once we get up here, we're going to indirect drain to the right. So my hand's coming to the center. Her neck's straight, but now you can see her head's moving more than with a direct drain. We're going to do the same thing to the left. So we're pulling our hand just towards the midline, asking her head to bend out, but not her whole neck and shoulder. Good. Then we'll go back to a direct drain when we're going straight, keeping our elbows, wrists, and the horse's bit all in alignment. As we walk down the long side, Staying on the direct rein. When we get to this turn, let's do an indirect rein. So we're going to bring our hand towards the center line. You can see that she's not really bending the neck. She's just coming around the bit. And when we get up to this corner, we'll do an open rein to turn. She's very slow today. <laughs> All right, open rein. So now we got that bend in the neck again. So hopefully that wasn't too much physical work, but a bit more mental work to see that steering is more than just left and right when it comes to horses. We could go all the way into the different biomechanical movements behind steering and the bit and the relationship of the bit to the reins, to the horse, to us. But that might be for another time, we shall see. For now, you can move on to the next section of today's lesson.